Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to show you why your cell borders might be disappearing and how you can fix it. So in this very simple example right here, I just have this basic report and I have some borders here between row 7 and row 8 and also a black border here between column E and column F. And I have some row groupings here that basically just hide the rows and also hide the columns here. And when I collapse this row grouping, you can see that the border disappeared right there. And basically the same thing happens with the column grouping. So this black border between E and F, when I hide or collapse those columns, the border disappears. And this will sometimes happen to you and you might be wondering why is this happening sometimes and not other times. Well basically it all depends on the cells or the range that you apply the border to. So I have a, a example here where we'll start fresh and I'll explain this. So basically for that row uh, border down here, what I did there was I selected row seven here and then I went up to the border menu here and just chose bottom border and applied that border there. So now I have a black border there. But when I collapse this down, you can see the border disappears. And that's because I actually need to apply that border to the top of row eight because this is the visible row. So if I select row eight right here and then go to the border menu and choose top border here, now I still, you can't tell the difference. It's still the same border between row seven and row eight. But when I collapse it, now I see my border there above row eight. So the general rule is that it all depends on w uh, which row you, or which cells you apply to and those cells need to be visible. So if you want to see the border, uh, then apply the border to the visible cell in this case, or the visible row. In this case, it's row eight uh, remains visible. So we'd want to apply the border to that row. And the same thing works with columns as well. So if I did this, if I selected March here and then applied a right border, when I collapse this, the right border would disappear. Now, if I select uh, column F here and apply a left border. So now I'm just going to go here and apply a left border and you'll see there's my border there. Now when I collapse this, we'll actually see the left border there. And again, this is just because column F here is the visible column and we're applying the border to that column. So that is the general rule and that's how you can basically fix these if you have issues. And you can also use this to your advantage as well. So maybe sometimes you do wanna hide those borders. In this case here, I have this report with basically all the months across the top and the quarters. And if I wanted to collapse this down, uh, basically I can collapse it down and not see any of those borders because those borders are going to kind of look ugly uh, when I just have four columns displayed here. But when I expand it out, I want to see those borders. So I did that again by applying the borders to the uh, hidden column. So I applied it to the right side of column E here and the left side of column G. If you were to go here to column J, which I don't have any borders on currently, and if you select column J and you apply a left border and then you go in here and apply a right border, now you'll see that I have borders on both sides. And if I collapse this down, obviously those borders are going to display. Now to fix this, you can't just go and apply the border over here to the right. If I was just to select June and apply the border on the right side and then do the same over here and apply the left side, you're still going to see those borders when I collapse it down. So what you actually have to do is first clear the borders altogether. So you can do that by selecting the cells here and you can press control one on the keyboard, hold down the control key and press the number one, or you can just right click and go format cells. That'll bring up the format cells dialog here. And the first thing you have to do is clear these borders out. So I want to clear the left border. I'm going to clear the right border there. So there's no borders. And now I'm going to hit OK. That'll completely clear my borders. Now I want to uh, put a right border on June. So again, I can use this menu here, or you can go back into the format cells dialog. And I want to put a left border on July. So I'll put a left border on July right there. And now when I collapse this down, you'll see that I don't get those borders there. So that's one way you can use it to your advantage as well. Again, the general rule is that you want to apply the border to the cells that are going to remain visible if you want those borders to remain visible. If you want to hide those borders when you collapse the cells, then apply it to the cell or the column or the row where the, uh, that's going to be hidden when you hide or collapse the rows or columns. 
So I hope that helps. Please leave a comment below with any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks like this. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.